So had gotten us started on <coughs> off, so to, if I can use such an expression, I want to get your reactions to the challenges that <coughs> Kenya is currently facing in terms of water in our dams. I just want to get a brief thought from each of you. The cartoon, if we have that up on the screen, is of Dakaine Dam. And we are seeing a situation of a sort of Red Sea situation where the water has parted. It's only raining where <coughs> the water has parted, but it's not raining in Dakaine <laughs> Dam itself. This is hilarious. I think we need some laughter on a Monday morning like this one. <laughs> Honorable Manzo, your, your thoughts, why are we here as a nation where, where people cannot believe the government's stand on this? The government says, listen, it's raining in, in, in yes, it's raining across the country, but uh, the rivers that supply Dakaine Dam have not seen that much water, and that's the problem that we are seeing. But Kenya is saying, no, if it's raining over Dakaine Dam, we should see the levels rising. And then after a lot of outcry from the public, suddenly we see yesterday it's as if the dam responded to social media comments and rose by a few inches. Uh, let me get your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you know people are saying that if when if people complain on social media, the dam levels rise. If you look at the rivers uh, below the Kainin Dam, they are sweeping, they are overflowing, and uh, they are flooding all over. But uh, uh, that means uh, the water gates of Dakaini must be opened at some point, maybe with the pretext that you are avoiding the dam from being uh, washed away. But what most important is that uh, Dakaini Dam serves. Nairobi and Nairobi without water is a, is a very tricky situation. The county government of Nairobi is supposed to work with the county government of Muranga because these are different counties uh, to make sure that uh, Nairobians are supplied with water. There was a bigger plan by the government uh, to do the water tunnels from uh, Muranga, which uh, seems to have uh, hit a snack. They, 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 they have not performed as they were expected. Uh, the contractor on site seems to be facing a lot of uh, challenges. This would have supplemented the kind of dam. But for now, somebody has to move with the speed and find out who is committing this crime of uh, intentionally making sure that Nairobians don't get water. Is it a, a crooked businessman? Is it somebody within the county government? Is it somebody at the national government? Because someone somewhere is responsible. And the engineers have to move on side, both from national government and of the county government. Are you, and saying, even are you saying responsible <coughs> in that somebody is actually removing water from the yes, dam? Yes, so you know there are water the gates. There are water gates which you, which are supposed to control in the event there is an overflow, uh -huh. so that the dam uh, does not get washed away. You know, a lot of dams have been washed away with this flooding, but uh, this one is being misused. It's you a scientific proof? way of, uh, it's being misused, I can prove it, because uh, what, what scientific explanation can you have with all this water? In fact, <laughs> in fact, uh, that the Kaini Dam is dry. So, so the engineers need to move with the speed and even security and police, uh, everyone to check who is committing that crime so that they are dealt with, so that Nairobians do not suffer. In a few months. In fact, now the rains are going down, and if the Kaini is still empty, and within one month we may have no heavy rains, then there is a big problem there. Honorable Manz, what a conspiracy theory you've brought up on the Power <laughs> Breakfast Show. Honorable Lachi, I don't know. Do you oh. share the same thoughts? I, I it don't know. I, I, I don't want to share the same. But I'm asking myself whether the new dam that was being made that was said will sweep in the water. Is it the one that is holding? Because, and I, and I don't want to say that uh, the, the picture I saw was so the real Dakaine. I need to go there. Okay. I, I think my... my my spirit tells me, go and see for yourself. Because the picture, I was also shocked. I was even asking myself, if it's raining, even if it is not the waters now coming in from the, the other the rivers that river. flow in, yes. then uh, still that dam will be now quite, uh, uh, have substantive water that you'll say it has been raining. But the way I looked at it, it seemed like it's in an island somewhere. There's no rain that goes <laughs> completely. So I don't know whether it was just a, an old photo that was done, that we are using. And so we live in an era of fake news, I think so the best people mm -hmm. to tell us is uh, the, the Nairobi water guys who manage the engineers. They can uh, explain to Kenyans. And, and they have said in their defense that there's, there's no foul play in this matter. Uh, they say that I think Dakaine Dam specifically is supplied by specific rivers or drums that have not been filled up to the extent. They say that because of the prolonged drought as well, that. Uh, those levels were low. Again, uh, they are that's not here to, to defend themselves. That's but very interesting because Sagana River passes very close and it has been busting And we have like been seeing nothing. the images as well. Yeah. Well, so uh, I'm told there's a site visit today by the water authorities. We were trying to invite some of them for our show here today and mm -hmm. they said that they are all going down there and they will actually have a press conference this afternoon. So hopefully more light will be shared. But Honorable Then we need to pray to God then. 
<laughs> we need to pray. Because it's nature. And he's the only <laughs> control of nature. But it has been raining. And that's what I'm saying. Have been <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are wondering what's wrong with what, now the kindness. Yes. <laughs> Honorable Lord, you help us find a way out of this. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, there's some crooked people who think that Kenyans are, uh, are, are foolish and don't think. I mean, other than the rivers that are supplying Dakaini, rain is raining in Dakaini itself. <laughs> so oh that yeah. before the rivers <laughs> come in, the rain. the rain that we should account for the rain that is raining in there. Um, but outside of that, we discussed this by way of a motion brought last week in Parliament by Honorable uh, GK. Uh, one of the things we need to do is to activate some provision of the 2016 uh, water Act. There is a water harvesting tower. What do we do with our water? And I'm talking Nairobi and other big cities. There has been so much rain, but later we are told Nairobi cannot get water. Mm -hmm. We need to get to the point where we do water harvesting. We build proper water reservoirs so that we are able to sustain ourselves in between one rainy season and the other rainy season. We also need to deal with, uh, and, uh, and I'm suspecting this is what is happening, a lot of big business are benefiting from water in Dakaine so that some of the shortage, in my view, is usually artificial. I pay 4,000 shillings to Nairobi Water officially and end up paying to these suppliers 20, 25,000 in a month because I don't have water in my place. Something is seriously wrong. They are getting this water somewhere. Why would the suppliers have, private water suppliers, have water that Nairobi water does, does not have. Where do they get that water? I think it's being siphoned from Dakaine and other sources. What can you do as lawmakers? Because Kenyans are crying, Nairobians are crying as well. One of the things we are going to do, and I hope we, we put this motion into in, in form of a bill, is to invest in water harvesting. And I think number two is to be able to deal with these cartels. Okay. I think those are the two things okay. we need to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's something very interesting on Crazy Monday, and uh, he says, I can't wrap my mind around the peculiar science of water scati uh, scarcity during heavy rains. Whatever is happening at Dakaina is either fiction or a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> and then he shows how the pipes have gone. The rivers have avoided the, the traffic jam in Dakaina Dam, but they are taking <laughs> southern bypass. So you can imagine. Uh, that, that's what I was saying. It's something we need to ask ourselves.